What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. In today's video, we're gonna check out an awesome geometry node setup for creating pipes along paths in Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So in this video, we're checking out this awesome geometry nodes pipe setup from Ray Wakui. Um, hopefully I said your name right, but um, this is an awesome setup that you can download from Gumroad, which I will link to in the notes down below. You can enter a zero in this box right here to download this for free, or you can donate to the developer. Usually I recommend if you can throw a couple bucks their way to help them uh, keep developing cool stuff like this. I usually recommend that you do that, but either way you can download this and open it up inside of Blender. And so what this is gonna do is it's gonna open up a blend file inside a blender that contains the geometry node setup. So you just open it like any other blender file. And basically the way this works is it works based on curves. So if I was to toggle the geometry node setup off for a second, you can see how this is just a simple Bezier curve that's in here and then it's generating the pipes based on those curve locations. So say for example that I was to tap into edit mode on this and adjust the curve. So if we were to go to a top down view like this, extrude this curve out, notice how it's automatically gonna add additional pipe in here. So what you can do is you can use this in order to quickly generate different pipes inside of your scenes. And so usually what I recommend is you want to make sure that your curve lines um, are facing about as close to straight as you can get them um, along the different axes when you do this in order to get smooth curves. But notice how I can use this in order to quickly create a curve um, or I can quickly use this to generate a pipe that turns along a curve like this. We could also go to like a front view then extrude this up so maybe something like this and rotate it. But what's cool about this is this is automatically adding in things like uh, valves and different connectors and other things like that. And so um, let's take a look at the geometry node settings for a second. So you can adjust things like the radius of the pipe right here. Notice how, by the way, this comes in textured, which looks fantastic. So it's got like the rust on the pipe. It looks really good, especially for the amount of effort that we're putting into this, which is practically none. You can also adjust random radius for the different pipes. So you can kind of randomize this to get different looks. Um, you can adjust how big the connectors are going to be, as well as how thick those connectors are going to be. So you can make them bigger, smaller, using these geometry node settings. Um, you can also adjust the number of rivets that are in here, um, and you can randomize as well. So notice if I adjust this random scene right here, this is randomly going to place those different connectors and um, valves on this pipe. And then you can also set how many additional pipes are, or how many additional parts are on here. So if you don't want valves, for example, um, you can just set the additional parts to zero. So you can use this just like this. And so let's say that we wanted to add this to a new curve, right? We've got our first curve right here. Let's say we wanted to add a new one. So all we would have to do is I'm gonna go into top down mode for a second and I'm gonna insert a Bezier curve. So I'm just going to add the Bezier curve right here. I tried this with the path and the connectors just didn't quite go in the right location. So you're probably gonna to wanna to stick with this type for right now. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start by just kind of rotating these like this to start off with. But then, so now we've got our curve in here, right? And I'm gonna extrude this out one more time. But now we've got our curve in here. Well, all we have to do is tab back into object mode and add a geometry nodes modifier, and then just go find that original modifier right here. So it's just in here as geometry nodes. You could also come in there and rename it if you wanted to. Usually what I do is I go ahead and I click on this in order to create a single user copy of this data. But notice how what that did is that brings this in and you're gonna wanna go ahead and adjust this a little bit. So you're gonna wanna adjust the random radius down at least when you start. Um, and then just kind of set those connectors up to be the way that you want them to be. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the additional parts up but notice how now we've got our own kind of random pipe in here. Then we would just do the same thing where we would just tab into edit mode. If we wanted to add pipe, we could just extrude it like this. If we wanted to rotate pipe, what we could do is we could bring it down and then rotate the direction right here. So you can see how creating your own pipes in here is really easy using this geometry node setup. All right, so I'll link to this node setup in the notes down below. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this node setup. If you've seen some other cool geometry node setups, it's love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.